Okay, y'all, here we go with another one. The quote, the quote retweets, the quote retweets. So let's listen to this real quick. What, do you have anything on this before I move on to China? I don't see what the one has to do with the other, but go on. I took up a lot of time with Fox. Oh, it's fine. We have time. I don't don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially considering and using the Civil War to talk about black Americans. That war was not fought for black people to have guns. That's, that's, That's not... That war was fought for black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. Actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad that part about it. That wasn't fought for black people to have guns, I think. Actually, you know, a funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. And I think that that's but, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree with you country. on that, Don. I disagree with you. And I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country. Okay. By failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have you equality are in black the skin law and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned that, you know, that I we disagree. have three different shades Don, of I think we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, absolutely to 1865 and 1964 have equal rights in this country. I, I think it's insulting. What, do you have anything on? All right, y'all. So let's go over here real quick. So as you see... That, you know, what this uh, tether room has pretty much said about the Civil War. Don Lemonade was right. You know what I'm saying? So let's go to the quote we tweets. You know what I'm saying? Right here. And see what the Kraken Knack has got to say. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. You handle that situation with Lemon very well. It's a shame that Don Lemon doesn't even know his own party's history pertaining to post-Civil War and gun rights for blacks. Shut up. You don't know enough. You already know. Reparation2023.com. Your tether. Lincoln himself said he did it to have peace, not to free the slaves. Go look it up. Do you not know the history of this country, Doreen? No, you don't, because most likely you're a tether, too. Just like Vevichek over here. You know what I'm saying? Let's get going. What else? Don Lemon is a very, very special blend of totally ignorant and in- intentionally awful. Let's go over here. Your mama is a special type of dumb because she screwed her first cousin and had you. Reparations. Pull up. See, this is the problem with these blue checks that you having right now, Elon Musk. You giving anybody a blue check that can say anything and they think that what they're saying is supposed to be legit. No. F this crack and knack. You know what I'm saying? Get up out of here, what a ridiculous assertion from CNN. Being non-white is a uh, is a uh, decided advantage in 2020s America, and it is not even a so close call for jobs, schools, contracts, etc. I know this is reality personally, and so does Don, even though he won't dare admit it. Admit what? Admit what? That whites control this country? That y'all have been systematically imprisoning us? Intimate domain, Jim Crow laws. The black codes, I could go on and on. On and on, bro. Steve, on and on, bro. Get your dumb ass out of here, too. And look, another blue check. How is this, how is this logical, Elon? This on you, Elon, for allowing these people to be up here. So, yeah, he a race beta, always has been. What good has he done for America with his platform? Only divide us. That's facts. Right here. Here go another uh, crack and knack of Todd. Hey, how you doing, Todd? You know what I mean? Perpetual victim. Don Lemon grows increasingly pitiful. With his blacks still aren't allowed to enjoy their freedoms. Baloney. The irony is that if Lemon were white, he would have been fired from his embarrassing low-rated show on CNN long ago. So at the end of the day, when black people, right, say these things and you have the tides of the world there to say, oh, you are a perpetual victim. How? How? Jim Crow laws. Civil rights movement. Emmett, the, 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 the march on Edmund Pettus Bridge. The, the march on Washington, the, the the Black Panthers, the Black Panthers gave a lot of uh, rights and laws in this country that we have now but pertaining to uh, further advancements of the gun law since they were speaking about that. And also the Black Panthers made sure we had healthy meals in schools. White folks wasn't doing that. They didn't care what they fed us prior to the Black Panther movement. So why would we need your per- perpetual victim Quote, set your dumb ass up, Ty. Get up out of here, man. Sick of y'all. Okay, we got a coon. Coon alert. Rob Smith, the fucking coon. So, Lemon gets caught completely flat-footed by his lack of basic historical knowledge, then learns on, then then leans on his real subject of his expertise. 
Being black, embarrassing. You ought to be embarrassed for even writing that dumb ass shit. You know what I'm saying? And let's go over here and follow this joker right here. Iraq veteran, Columbia University senior editor, press founder, of real stop walk, pro common sense, whatever. You from Miami, you might be a tether. You might be a, a, a Haiti tether. So get your ass up out of here, Haiti tether. You feel what I'm saying? Reparations, bro. Reparations, bro. That's all you need to know, bro. Reparations, bro. So at the end of the day, let's go over here. Shout out to Movie Monster Eidos. So first of all, where are you getting this? We from East Indians had barely set foot in this country while black Americans had already been here building for hundreds of years. And the first thing you did was to run to court to be considered white. Wow, that's facts on that. Shout out to Movie Monster Eidos. Okay, we got another cone, another cone. I think Don Lemon needs a uh, sab sab sabbatical. He threw all this debate skills out the window and essentially said, it's a black thing you wouldn't understand. Yeah, he said that to him straight and forth. How are you telling us what black people have been through in this country as an immigrant person? And then you're going to, and Don turned around and said, well, you don't understand because you're not black. That's fucking facts. You don't walk in our shoes. V v v v you don't walk in our shoes, bro. But you want to sit up here and say that we got all these freedoms and all these rights and all these, you know, uh, you know, basic American dream type uh, citizenship. No, we don't, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we may be able to walk and go to the store and go see a basketball and sit amongst each other. But it was only 1960s was not that long ago. There's there, there was segregation in this country. So what the hell are you talking about? I got great aunts and uncles that are older than civil fucking rights, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Come on, man. And this is the problem with y'all new Americans, y'all tethers. They come over here and then want to yah, 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 yah to try to soup y'all up to make it seem that it ain't what it is. And then you also have these bootlegs, these these mammies, these coons like Christy Kelly over here saying what the hell she's saying. Get your dumb ass up out of here. You know what I mean? Look at that. Well done. Candidacy is a joke. We'll agree with that right here. Don Lemon and many other journalists only survive by claiming pro parcerous and sensationalistic things. They provide dubious evidence if they provide any. Shut your dumb ass up, Karen. You know what I'm saying? This is the problem when you have people like this and then you wonder why we got to be up here online every day battling these people, going at them. Because if we don't tell our own stories and verse these people in the future, people reading these comments would think otherwise. This shit is a problem. Don't vote for this man. Make sure he gets zero votes. We ain't fucking with your ass, Tether Room, Vivek, Rama, Ramaswamy, whatever the hell your name is and shit. You a joke. And most Indian people are Brahm that, that come to here in America are a Brahmin Indian, kind of like Kamala Harris, aka Kumala, who says she ain't doing anything specifically for black people and has and kept her word and has not done a damn thing for the black American community. But black people made sure her fucking East Indian Jamaican ass got in fucking office, though. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck her and you. Y'all could both go to the slums of fucking Mumbai. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all came from. Nobody care about that shit. Don't come over here. None of y'all tethers speaking on black American issues. It's a fucking problem, yo. Ice, ice, baby. You already know what it is. I'm out. Segway.